please. We've got to get off this phone. I've got to make an emergency call. Look, if I don't get help soon, he'll die. Answer me, somebody. Please. Answer me. <laughs> Presents Bug Off. Bella, be a good guy and get to sleep, will you? Okay. Oh, Fred, I, I still don't like the idea of leaving him. He's got a nasty cough. Oh, come I... on, Pat. Knock it off, will you? Cindy will call us uh... if he gets a fever or anything like that. We can be home in half an hour. That's what you've got to sit her for. I know, but she's only a high school kid, not a mother. Oh, being a high school kid, she certainly knows how to use a phone. She'll hear you. I doubt it. Exactly what I mean. I don't think much of anything gets through to that cloud she's on half the time. She's got a good imagination, that's all. Good? Oh, it's terrifying. Look, we've had her before. Get your coat. Let's go. Oh, Fred, what I don't do you know. Want me I to just do? don't. What do you want me to do? Call up the boss, tell him Jojo didn't eat his cereal today, and hardly touched his milk. We're staying home. Hmm? Well, <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, Cindy will be right in the living room, Jojo. If you need her, just call real loud, right? Good night, old buddy. Nighty night, darling. Night, night. Cindy? Yes, Mrs. Edstrom? Uh, Jojo isn't feeling very well. It's a little cold. So if there's anything at all, call us. I'll put the number in the kitchen next to the phone. I don't think we'll be terribly late. Oh, that's okay. I got heaps of homework. Yes, that's quite a formidable pile of books. But, jeeps, I can't find my assignment book. Oh, gosh, I bet it's in my coat pocket. Where's your coat? Oh, I left it someplace. Jim, I think. You see, we were climbing this mountain, and there was an avalanche. A, uh, mountain? Yes. I mean, well, no. I, I guess it wasn't a mountain, really. We were doing some things on a rope, but... <laughs> What's exciting about climbing a rope? Well, be sure to check him every once in a while, Cindy. Feel his forehead, and if it seems warm... Come on, oh, Pat. What? Cindy will call us if there's any oh, problem. Ed. I sure will. But don't you worry, Mrs. Edstrom. I'll take good care of him. You, you just have a good time. Now, don't forget what you're here for, Cindy. Don't start thinking about other things. Oh, I won't. As soon as I get my assignment, I got homework, and... Mom says that's the only thing that keeps me grounded. <laughs> yes, well. Come on, honey. We're going to be late. I don't want to be the only guy missing when they yell happy birthday. It's the boss, you know. All right, dear. Goodbye, Cindy. We'll see you. Good night. Lock the doors after us. We out here in the country like this, I never feel... I, I will. On. I will. Hi, Jojo. Hi. Oh, poor little fella. Don't feel so good, huh? It hurts. Oh, hurts where? Here. You mean when you breathe? <laughs> well, now, looky here. I am going to wave my magic wand. Oh, oh, I left it at home. But you know what? My hand is just as good. There. All the pain is gone. Doesn't hurt anymore. Play, Cindy? Oh, no. Now, you go to sleep. As soon as I find out what my assignment is, I'll be right in the living room doing homework. Yell if you need me. Night. Get off that phone. 
Well, you were not going to like this, but... Hello? Hello? The phone is in use right now. Yeah, bug off. Look, this is an emergency. Will you please hang up? Cindy, is that you? Hey, who's Cindy? Cindy Merrill. We're on the same party line. What do you want, Cindy? I need the phone. Too much, doll. You can have this wire after we sign off. Carol, I'm at the Edstrom's babysitting, and I... And... Listen, I think I hear someone walking around outside. Oh, yeah. Like the time your dog was having fits. Or the time... Please, Carol. It'll only take a minute and, well... Golly, you know how creepy it can get out here and... I really do hear someone walking around. Okay. All right, hang up, Flip. I'll call you back. Okay. Oh, thanks, Carol. Well, hurry, huh? And, well, good luck. Kathy. Oh, hi, Cindy. Listen, I'm babysitting for the Edstroms, and I forgot my assignment book. What's lit and math? Uh, just a sec. Okay. I'm working on it, too. Um, here. In lit, we're supposed to read the short story that starts on page 47 and write a synopsis. 47. Math, uh, page 14, mm -hmm. section A, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Section B, 1 and 2. Hi, Cindy. Who's that? Carol Dunlap. Oh. Hi, Carol. Kathy? Yeah, hi. Cindy tell you about the prowler? What prowler? Oh, there's somebody sneaking around outside the extra. At least somebody's sneaky. Well, I had to say something. You get on that phone and you think it's yours. You didn't have to lie to me. Oh, no? You and that think. He's No, everyone knows Carol's a phone hog. I gave it up, didn't I? Only because you were scared not to. Well, just don't ask me to again. Not ever. Listen, you wouldn't stay on the phone like that if your folks were home. You know, somebody ought to tell them. Somebody ought to tell your folks what a liar you are. I am not a liar. Oh, no. They say you're imaginative. That's what they call it. Anybody else would be a liar. Don't listen to her, Cindy. Yeah, thanks, Kath. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Goodbye, Carol. Goodbye, Kathy. Goodbye, Sandy. Boy. <laughs> Jo, Jo, honey, what's the matter? Jojo, Cindy's here. Oh, my. Well, you're just so hot. I, I think I'll, yeah, I'll get this blanket off. Oh, here, sweetheart, let me hold you. That's a good boy. Well, let me feel your head. Mommy. Oh, my. Oh, don't you worry, honey. I'll get your mommy. Oh, Jojo, please. Now, now, let me go. Then lie down, honey. Please, don't hold on like that. I've got to go phone your mom. Jojo, no, honey, let go. There, there, there. Now, you just lie down. I'll be right back. So I said, look, man, if you think look, that's much... Uh, Carol, stuff, you should... I, I need the phone. It's an emergency. Please, Carol, it is an emergency. Are you kidding? Come on, bug off. Yes, we gave it to you once. But it's Jojo. He's got a temperature, and, he, and he's like all, all choked up inside. Me too. Don't go all choked up. I am not kidding. This is for real. Oh, you wouldn't know what was real if it came up and punched you in the nose. The bug off, doll. You've had it. Just ignore her, Flip. But I've got to get help. Please. Carol. Flip, answer me.
Uh oh. Desperate Dan is back again. Yeah. My ears got the message. Carol, please. He's awful sick. He's got a temperature. Mrs. Enstrom wouldn't go off and leave JoJo if he was sick. Especially with you. The Enstroms must think I'm okay. They asked me to sit for them. But they asked me first. <laughs> what a guess. <laughs> Sorry if that hurts your feelings, Cindy. But that's the fact of the matter. I don't care about that, Carol. Just let me use the phone, please. Say, uh, pretty please. Pretty please. No. Pretty no. Hey, Ruth, you ever hear this story about the boy broadcasting wolf all over the joint? Hmm? Wolf! Hey, wolf! Everybody came running. See? Chuck, 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 chuck. Where's the wolf, boy? And then the boy would howl. Man, oh, man, how he'd howl. <laughs> oh. When you get through laughing, I know the story. Okay, then wise up, dog. Quit yelling, wolf. I'm sorry. I I won't do it again, but, but this time I really mean it. Oh, you always mean it. Carol, on my word of honor. Bug off, doll. You've had it. I can't. Oh, please, please, Carol. Just ignore her flip. Now, what were we talking about? Now, let me see. Uh, oh, yeah, the game. Oh, yeah. Well, like I was saying, if our team can win Saturday, that means You'll be that's sorry. Be You'll be sorry. Oh, what am I going to do? Uh... <laughs> Here, Jojo. Let me hold you up. It's more comfortable this way, honey. There. Better? Oh, you're just burning up. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's better when you're lying down. Oh, I don't know. I I just don't know. <laughs> You have got to get off the phone, Carol. He can't breathe. Now, look, Rube, you're beginning to make me mad. I don't care, Carol. Listen, he's just a baby, and he can't keep struggling for breath like that. I've got to get help. Well, who's stopping you? Go get it. I can't leave him that long. It's over a mile to the Carlsons, and they're the nearest. By the time I got back... Yeah, and maybe she wouldn't even get back. After all, there's a prowler outside, you know. I told you I'm sorry about that, but this is for real... Can't you tell when something's for real? Sure, we can, but can you? Now, come on now. Bug off, I will won't. You... You murderer. Oh, just ignore her, Flip. She just doesn't hear, that's all. Okay. Carol. Wait, wait. Will you call the Edstroms? Who, oh, me? Yes. I'll give you the number and hang up, and then you could call. Well, what'll I tell them? Carol, are you going to fall for that old gag? Once we hang oh, up, you keep out of this flip. Please, Carol. Sorry. You had your chance and muffed it. Oh, boy. You'll regret this, both of you, to your dying day. Hey, did anybody ever tell you you ought to be on TV? Yeah, like I said. Dreamsville. <laughs> Here, let, let me raise you a bit. Now try that. Maybe if I got another pillow. No, no, darling. I won't leave you, honey. Listen, if anything happens, it'll be your fault. I think he's dying. Do you hear me? Why, oh, Flip, why, you? Yeah. <laughs> Carol, answer me. Hey, I, I got another one here. And the way you hear the skins on this one, and the guy on the stick, groovy, they're way out. I know you hear me. Same combo? No, it's, uh, what, the way you hear Hello? Me. Let's see if you can stand it. Hello? Can you hear me? Okay, but hold it a sec while I get a Coke. Oh, sure. Flip? Can you hear me, Flip? Oh, you're just doing this to be mean, aren't you? Teasing me. You think I'm kidding about this, but I am not. 
He's a sick little boy, and I, I've got to get help. Oh, please, Flip, just hang up. Carol will hang up when she finds out you have. Flip. Oh, thank you. Please, please, now. Now, just hang up before Carol gets back. Listen, it'll only take a, a minute for me to phone, and I'll tell her to call you right back. Oh, gee whiz, Cindy. You wouldn't want to be responsible for anything happening to a little kid, would you? Oh, heck no. He could die, he's so sick. If you just saw him. Gosh, it's too bad we, we don't have phone vision. I mean, you could bring him to the phone, and then we could see for ourselves. Well, would you just take my word for it, okay? Well... Oh, please. Please. Well, okay. Uh, tell Carol to call me right back. Oh, thank you, Flip. I will. I will. Okay, Flip. Spin it. Flip hung up, Carol. He wants me to make the call. Okay, and... Carol doll. Here goes. Flip, you said you'd hang up. You promised. Oh, you, oh, you terrible, terrible people. <laughs> They're beasts, both of them. Beasts, beasts. Oh, let me wipe your forehead again, honey. And there. Does that feel better? Maybe... Maybe if I held you. Here now, up we go. A little boy prince, that's what you are. And you know what? I'm a gypsy princess with magic powers so great. Why, why just by holding you, I can protect you from... No. No, that's a lie, Jojo. Like everything. I didn't climb a mountain today. And yesterday, I wasn't a movie star. As for magic, I don't even know how to spell abracadabra. Well, why do I do it? Oh, golly, the blanket's off your feet. There. If I hadn't lied in the first place, they'd, they'd have let me use the phone. <coughs> That's it, Jojo. Well, now, into bed, honey. And just please... Just don't stop breathing. I'll be right back. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. Uh-oh, she's back again. Yeah, so I hear. Hi, you guys. Hi. Boy, are you a couple of hardheads? What do you mean? You don't give up the phone no matter what. Yeah. How's the patient? Who? Jojo. Oh, he's okay. Oh, got well pretty fast, didn't he? Yeah. Does Ben Casey know about you? Oh, I was only kidding. Yeah, well, you ought to stop that kind of stuff. You're going to get in trouble someday. You know, honest truth, I think you ought to be in the movies. Oh, please, please, he's dying. <laughs> man, oh, man. No kidding, you know. You want to be an actress. <laughs> Maybe I will someday. Well, what do you want this time? Well, you know, when I called Kathy before about the assignment, I forgot to write down the page number. Is that all? Yeah. C could I call her back? Oh, Cindy, you're too much. Well, you know old Tracy. What a monster she is when you don't do your homework. Oh, go ahead. Flip? Okay. I'll call you back in five minutes. Thanks. You know you're sure a pest. Wait till the next time you're talking to somebody. Hello? I I'd like to speak to Mrs. Edstrom, please. Oh, please hurry. Oh, please be there. Hello? Oh, Mrs. Edstrom. <laughs> Thank heavens. Thank heavens. <laughs> 
Five has presented Bug Off, written by Marquita Fisher, produced and directed by Warren Somerville. In the cast, Bernard Grant, Rosemary Rice, Evelyn Juster, Donald Buca, Jimsy Summers, and Cecil Roy. Audio engineer, Marty Folia. Sound tech-